Hi folks, it's Catherine. Welcome back to my Spotlight on Stamping Plates collection series, whatever it is. Everything will be linked down below as well as what is on my nails. This is my favourite folder by far. This is the History, Myth and Travel folder. Absolutely love this. So let's just jump in. Uh, this is from Mo Yu. This is the Explorer collection number nine. I used this when I did a Greek kind of ancient Greek mani a while ago and I totally love the designs on this, what you'd see on ancient Greek art and pottery and things like that. Next up we have the Explorer Collection 02. This is more Egyptian inspired. This kind of reminds me of, um, what is the name of that show? Only Connect. Yeah, really, really like this. Look at this design. I need to get this out and use it soon. Then we have the Time Machine from Bundle Monster. I have this whole collection. This is XL136. And this is kind of like, I guess, ancient, like prehistoric um, motifs on here. I absolutely, this is so cool. Look at this mammoth. These kind of cave paintings. So, so cool. Love this. The axes. Excellent. This is also a time machine one. This is 131. This is more, it's called their, I think on the website it was like their 1869 page or something, but more like 1569. If you ask me, this is more of a medieval type um, plate, stained glass, the carriage, this beautiful dress here with these great, great space with sometimes with some of these kind of when a pattern is built into a bigger picture sometimes the you, the length of your fingernail isn't considered but this does and it's so great i love this and yeah i'll be using this a lot for guess what game of thrones manis and this is uh, from the greek mythology collection from mo Yu. this is number eight it's the aries and athena plate and we have Aries over here and Athena over here. And yeah, really like this one a lot. So this is where I've had to start double siding these mythology plates because I bought a few more. This is um, from Bundle Monster this time. This is XL403. This, I think this is more of a Viking inspired plate. But this feels very Celtic to me. And of course, there was a lot of toing and froing between the two. So it's not surprising that they're kind of similar. But yeah, really, really love this plate. So cool. And this is another mythology one from Bundle Monster. And I think this is their ancient Greek one. Um, this is XL401. We've got Poseidon here, Hephaestus here. Uh, who is this? I'm not sure who that is. That might be uh, Dionysus, maybe. But yeah, absolutely. And Zeus up here. So really good. Then we have another one from... Oh, no, this is Born Pretty, actually. And uh, I really liked the crowns here. I think this was like a dollar, two dollars or something when I got it. I thought this would be perfect for Game of Thrones manicures. Doesn't this remind you of Cersei? This reminds me of Cersei a lot. So I really liked this one. And did I say this one? Uh, L104 is the crown there. And we have this Gothic plate from Mo Yu. It's number 11 and it's basically a stained glass window. So like a church window with a skull and we've got two churches either side and just some great designs. Really, really like this one a lot. Can't wait to do some reverse stamping with that. Then we have the Poetry Journey Plate from Born Pretty A10. And this one has lots of geographical kind of images and map images and things like that on it. Some sea naval images here as well. So that's pretty cool. We have the Polynesian plates. I showed you one of these when we did the floral folder. This is XL114. So this is more travel and less floral. Um, so you've got this cool um, mountain here, which I used for the red keep when I did um, my Game of Thrones money a while back. Um, just kind of island tropical designs. I really, really like this. Another Polynesian plate. This is XL117. 
this is way more tribal and kind of almost prehistoric in nature um, with the designs here. I really, really like this one too. And that's 117. Then we have Around the World from Bundle Monster and this is 155. This is a Japanese inspired plate. Really, really pretty. And it's kind of modern and kind of ancient Japanese with the blossoms and the but then you've got the little kind of waving kitty down here, which is cute. I really like these floral designs too. And the koi fish. Then we have another Polynesian one, and this one has a dancing lady on it, some kind of shell designs, more tropical kind of designs, the fish. So like that, that's one one two. We have this. This is more kind of an indigenous kind of Native American plate. This is Born Pretty L010. And I think I may have used this for a Westworld Manny. Um, we've also got some African kind of play ed designs up here too. So it's a bit of a mix of kind of Native American and African vibes. So I'm not really sure how that came about, but that's what it is. This is from Bundle Monster and it's a collaboration with Chit Chat Nails. It's XL202. Great little play. I have used this and I love the kind of tribal designs here. I love this kind of stuff. This is great. Looks great on the summer manicure gradient. And this is from Bundle Monster again, and this is in collaboration with Beaching Nails. This is XL204. I bought this because of the windmills where my husband um, is from. There are windmills like this in his local town. So I, that's why I bought this one. But also I quite like this design here. Um, this is really cute and the guy fishing. So the giraffe under the tree and that kind of thing. And we have a creative shop one. This is number 47 and this is a Japanese inspired plate. This time we've got a samurai and we've got a, a crane, I guess. Yeah, really like this too. And then finally, it's another Polynesian one and this is XL111. And again, similar kind of mix of floral tribal patterns. Tahitian type vibes and this lovely little island here in the middle. So that's it folks. A very full folder. One of my favourites. Absolutely love it. And uh, yeah. So I will see you next time for another folder. Bye.